club food has evolved so much in recent years. Campbelltown Catholic Club is a fine example of this, housing five different dining options all under the one roof. They've helped change a perception of club food, offering a diverse range of quality cuisine that would rival any culinary destination. We've now got five distinct offerings. Um, so we've got the food court, we've got the cafe, we've got Embers and we've got Coyubi. And we also have the hotel offer, mm -hmm. which is a, a Otis. But look, we, we, we think that um, in time that we would have a number of offerings uh, in addition to that. Across the board, we cover so much now and growing. Um, but I think that the, the idea has to be that they're going to get good value for money and good quality product at whatever price point. Um, so from Coyubi at the top right down to the carvery at the bottom. So Michael, what sparked these changes? The main uh, uh, driver to change was our research which came back very clear that the main reason why people come to the club is for food. And obviously um, the last few years we've been getting busier and busier and about two years ago we realised, look, on our really busy nights we've just run out of room. So the planning started to actually expand our food offerings. I think the club has to have a diverse offering and diverse range of foods for to suit every every sort of need. Um, we have young families obviously coming in, older uni students, tradies, so we need to accommodate and cater for everyone that comes to the club. Campbelltown and MacArthur is a commuter town. People are travelling long distances to go to work. We feel that we wanted to offer something to them uh, within their backyard that is on par with anything that they can receive in any other area. Campbelltown, it's, you know, it's stereotyped as not really a food destination, whereas Newtown, Bondi and the city are sort of more known for their food locations, but I think that's what we're trying to achieve here is to set a standard that it's not just cafes and restaurants in the city that can have decent high-end food offerings. David, what are the main things that bring you to Campbelltown Catholic Club? Well, these days, definitely the food. Um, uh, back in the day, going to the club was a lot different. It was uh, just about meeting friends and having a drink, which that's still viable, but, but these days there's so many dining options, uh, in a, particularly in a club like this one. Kobe is a sophisticated restaurant. Um, it looks as good as any restaurant in Sydney. Uh, the food is my favourite style of food, modern Asian. Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan <laughs> of Kyubi. Campbelltown Catholic Club have been in the Chef's Table Finals 11 of the past 12 years, I think, and probably one of the most successful clubs in the competition. What keeps encouraging you to enter the competition and what do you think the chefs get out of it? Well, Chef's Table is just an amazing experience and opportunity for the chefs to try something a bit different get themselves really excited and scared about what they're doing and it's been really positive in the local press, it's been positive with our customers, it's certainly been positive with the management that are here so yeah definitely Chef's Table is an amazing experience. We're not, we're not done yet, there are definitely uh, plans afoot for more outlets, um, just keeping that diversity alive. We want to be the food destination of MacArthur, look if you want to have a, a nice meal and you live in the MacArthur there is really no need to go outside of, the, of where you live. Crown Bet Rewards members earn reward points to be used on Crown Hotels, restaurants, and even money can't buy experiences. Join today. Crown Bet. Reward yourself.